Hello my fellow investors and welcome back to another video. Today it is very very special because today was the day that Lowe's had earnings. So I'm going to do what I promised all of you guys and we're going to see Lowe's earnings first of all and then compare that to Home Depot to see which one of these two companies would actually fare better currently as well as looking at future projections as well. So with that said guys, let's get started with this video. So let's actually take a look at these earnings report, just the basic ones from Seeking Alpha. You guys can find this if you come to the ticker symbol and then over here you guys can see earnings. And well, we can see that Home Depot on the left, Lowe's on the right. We can see that Home Depot here had an EPS normalized actual earnings of $5.05, which was a beat of 12 cents. EPS gap actual was the same at $5.05, which was a beat of 11 cents. The actual revenue was $43.79 billion dollars which was a beat by 459.47 million dollars however taking a look at Lowe's guys we could see that when it came to the EPS normalized actual Lowe's did beat but it only beat by eight cents EPS actual again they did beat by only seven cents however what they definitely failed at was guys this revenue the revenue actual came in at 27.48 billion dollars which was a pretty big miss of 683.31 million dollars so as it currently stands guys home depot did significantly better than that of lowe's just by looking at their earnings report obviously they were pretty comparable with each other however as all of you could see lowe's actually missed revenue by almost a billion dollars whereas home depot actually gained so now with that said guys, let's actually see Lowe's report for the second quarter of 2022. Let's actually see what the comparable sales were actually for this company, similar to what we did yesterday when we saw Home Depot's comparable store sales. And right off the bat, actually Lowe's makes this very, very simple. Consolidated comparable sales decreased by 0.3%, whereas comparable sales increased by 0.2%. That's not good guys right so just right then and there we got a quick summary in the comparable sales and well you could see that it was essentially flat i this is actually not that good at all if y'all remember home depot's comparable sales rose for the second quarter of fiscal year 2022 by 5.8 percent and comparable sales in the united states alone was 5.4 so right then and there, guys, Lowe's is already falling behind, which is not good at all. But let's actually read this a little bit over here. We got Lowe's Companies Inc. today reported net earnings of $3 billion in line with prior year's result and diluted earnings per share EPS of $4.67, which is what we just read, for the quarter ended July 29, 2022, compared to the diluted EPS of $4.25 for the second quarter of 2021, essentially saying that, yeah, they did beat, right? They were significantly higher. So it was was better than last year. Today's sales for the second quarter were $27.5 billion compared to $27.6 billion in the second quarter of 2021. So right there, and there is essentially the miss when it came to their revenue. And comparable sales decreased 0.3%. Comparable sales for the United States home improvements businesses increased 0.2%. Again, Home Depot did significantly better, increasing 5.4% for the comparable sales in the U.S. And it continues to say for the second quarter, DIY sales were impacted by the shortened spring and lower demand in certain discretionary categories, which is partially offset by 13% increase in pro customer sales. And right then and there, guys, we see a prime example as to how inflation is hitting companies like these. Now, it's actually fairly interesting because it's not necessarily affecting Home Depot, at least from what we see right here. I don't necessarily see any mention when it comes to that, which is you know fairly surprising at least but nonetheless guys so you can see right there definitely Lowe's was significantly worse than that of Home Depot which is actually not not surprising in the slightest because actually believe it or not Home Depot has a lot more market share uh, to gather up rather than Lowe's to me the way that I see it is that these two companies they're you know they're fairly giant they're essentially one of the top biggest in the united states and probably even the world so with that said let's actually come over here to the calculator and make some assumptions right that's just what we did with home depot let's see if maybe now that we know that lowe's isn't growing that good let's actually see if maybe doing some assumptions we can get the share price lower or higher so let's come down here guys this is what we did for the stock analysis video 
and I honestly don't know what else to do when it comes to these assumptions. They're already fairly low, right? The low assumption I put at 2%, median assumption I put at 3%, and, and the high assumption I put at 4% revenue growth. So, you know, if I put this lower, the numbers is going to go lower than 155 to 177. This is going to go significantly lower. What I could do though, it is maybe instead of putting the predicted share buyback at 10%, lower the predicted share buyback by a couple percentage points and see where we actually end up. Because the fact that they're getting less and less revenue, this might actually affect their predicted share buyback. So let's actually say that for the projected shares, for the low assumption, let's say that they go, I don't know, let's say that, that they go down to 5%. For the media assumption, let's say around 8% and for the highest assumption, let's say at around 11%. And now with this guys, we actually get some target share prices. Again, it's significantly lower than what it was before because all well, the predicted share buyback went down. Now the target share price, not just for debt is between $147.67 to $168.47, smack down the middle of $157. And adjusting for debt, it doesn't get any better. It goes down to $105, $114, and $123, low, medium, high respectively. And then with a the margin of safety, it just keeps going down even more to $89.59 to $100.13. For the media assumption, it is $97 to $108.43. And for the highest assumption, it is essentially $105 to $117.34. So if you guys thought that before it was low, then you probably consider this even worse because unfortunately it's gotten lower. But again, it's actually somewhat justified because of the fact that we see here that they're actually not growing too big guys. It's unfortunate to see, honestly, it really is, but with this inflation happening, with probably homes cooling down a bit, I mean, we just got housing data for housing starts dropped massively, right? So for all we know, this might impact Lowe's and Home Depot differently. Maybe we'll see Home Depot get hit by this in Q3 once we get once we go into Q4. But nonetheless, guys, this is essentially a quick overview of Lowe's and Home Depot's earnings report for the second quarter of 2022 tell me what y'all guys think and tell me which one of these you prefer after seeing this do you still prefer home depot or do you still like lowe's even though their consolidated comparable sales decreased by 0.3 percent that pretty much is it for this video like if you like comment subscribe you guys can follow me on my new tech sites link in the description below all of the calculators that i usually show this kind of free cash flow book value re-evaluation and a dividend tracking sheet is in my calculators playlist so if you guys want it make sure you go there check it out first link in the description so with the said guys peace out and i will see you all in the next valuation video